I'm here to show you guys how to repaste and do your own service for your Toshiba Satellite C50D. So if you want to change the thermal paste or clean the fan or anything else, you want to just disassemble it. So first thing first, you want to flip your laptop over, remove the battery by removing this clip and holding this one to the left side and pull up the battery. I mean the other side. Next, you want to remove the service cover right on the bottom, which is an L shape, holding it with one screw. And the screw won't come out, has a um, lock on it, so you just have to loosen up the screw right there, and then pull up the service cover. Once you have the service cover up, you want to remove the hard drive by removing one screw. Next, in order to remove the hard drive, you can't just go ahead and pull this. You have to remove the, I'll call them so, brakes right there. You have to lift up the brakes on both sides at the back sides. These two prevent the hard drive from sliding out. So once you remove those, and now pull this foil paper towards the CD-ROM, and you're going to see a gap opening between the connectors. Now you can go ahead and remove the hard drive. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the CD-ROM by removing one screw which is holding right there, right beside the hard drive. Once you remove the screw, you don't want to pull the CD-ROM out just like this. You want to put the screwdriver right in the middle where you took the screw out and just twist it a little bit and the CD-ROM will come out easy. This is the proper way of doing it. All right. Now the fun part, you want to start on the screen all the screws which you see on the bottom cover including the few screws that you're going to see right under the service cover which is one right there, there and there and you're not going to remove this one but you are going to remove the white one right there. So I'm going to fast forward and just unscrew everything here. Now what you want to do, you want to remove the bottom cover, just slightly gently just pull up, hold down the white cover and just pull out the cover for the cd rami slowly. Just wiggle it around and eventually it will come out. And if it doesn't come out, if it's too hard, grab a guitar pick and slide it in between the white and black cover and twist it around so you can remove those clips. I missed one screw right there in the front. One is sneaky bastard. That's why I said don't force the cover. You have to be gentle. Also, there's one more I missed because I have the camera in my view. So, right there. Now, wiggle it around slowly. And it should come out easy. There we go. Now that's the bottom cover, bottom chassis of your laptop. If you want to replace it, the model number is right there. It says V0032-0280. Now we are down to the motherboard level. So there you have your power jack. If you want to replace your power jack from this side. And your Wi-Fi board, your RAM, your CPU, your heatsink, and your fan. So, we don't want to remove the motherboard. If you want to remove it, you have to actually unscrew one screw right there. And that's about it. And remove the fans, obviously. Alright, so what we want to do, you want to do a repay. So, you want to remove the heatsink and the fan. So, remove the four screws for the heatsink and the two screws for the fan. One right there and one right there. Once you did that, you want to unhook the cable for the fan. Just pull out the cable jack and pull out the fan. And remove all those dust particles 
and right there you can see the extra dust now you can go ahead and left out this heatsink and there's your heatsink and with your old thermal paste what we want to do we want to clean up the heatsink all the dust that is built there once we clean all this and we're going to clean up the CPU with an alcohol and the heatsink also we're going to clean up the fan while we add it and I'll be back right after this after cleaning up I'm going to use some alcohol and some paper towel or some mechanical towel now that we clean up the fan we clean up the CPU and the heatsink so what we want to do we want to grab the thermal paste I use an Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste you want to apply on the CPU just in the middle just kind of blob right there and you want to put the heat sink right in place right there and you want to cross screw them so do one two three four they actually have number on, on them and next you want to grab the heat the fan put the fan there always plug the fan connector first some people always forget them and now put the screws now that we put the screws for the fan which was right there there and the four screws for the heat sink and the fan connector we're gonna grab the bottom cover put the bottom cover straight down and start pressing down the sides you're gonna hear some clicking sound that's normal that's just fine just go all around it now we are right there we're gonna start putting all the screws down except the hard drive and except the CD ROM so let's go ahead and do this I'm gonna fast forward this part of it All right, now that we have the bottom cover in, now it's time to put the CD-ROM down. Slide the CD-ROM in place. Uh, grab the hard drive, put the hard drive down with an offset of the connectors, and then slide it back down to the connectors. And put the brake pads right there. I call them brake pads. So it will, it will prevent them from sliding back. Now we're gonna put the last two screws. The one for the the flat one is the hard drive one. I don't know why even they have that one. And the CD ROM. Alright, once we did this, now we're gonna put the bottom cover back in and put screw the screw cover. And it's all done. Grab the C battery, put the battery down, and this is how you do your service job for your Toshiba laptop. And I hope you guys liked it. And if you liked it and helped you guys out, please subscribe and thumbs up for the video. Also, if you have any requests, please ask, and I'll try to get back at you guys as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.